Christmas will look a little different in the Middle East this year as the deadly war between Israel and Hamas rages on. The town of Bethlehem is usually a global focus of celebrations because, as you know, it's a place where Jesus was born. But this is what it looks like this year, with many skipping the festivities altogether. Many Christians who live there are sending a message of solidarity to Palestinians in Gaza. Chris Livesay has that story. Of all the places in the world, a little town of Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus, knows how to celebrate Christmas. But this year, Christmas is canceled. Gone are the Christmas tree, Santa Claus, and the carolers. Many of the shops are shuttered, with hardly a visitor in sight. Even the Church of the Nativity, the usually packed pews, sit empty. According to believers, this is the precise birthplace of Jesus Christ. And over here we have the manger. Normally this time of year, celebrations would abound, but because of the war, there's hardly anybody here. Since the October 7th massacre by Hamas and Israel's ensuing ground offensive, tourism throughout the Holy Land has come to a grinding halt. In solidarity with the people suffering in Gaza, the people of Bethlehem have more to mourn than to celebrate. At the Evangelical Lutheran Church, they fashioned a nativity scene out of what's now found everywhere in Gaza. Rubble, says Pastor Munter Isaac. We've seen so many images of children being pulled out of the rubble. And to us, this is a message that uh, Jesus identifies with our suffering. In the cradle of Christianity, Palestinian Christians make up the world's oldest community of believers but they're shrinking in numbers. Here in the West Bank, only 2% of Palestinians are Christians today. In Gaza, it's less than 1%. The vast majority believed to be left homeless by the war. Mirna Elatrash, a Christian from Bethlehem, fears her community is facing extinction while the world looks away. Even some Christians, some, not all of them, they forgot about the Palestinian case. It's really forgotten by the Christians all over the world. Father Sandra Tomashevich serves at the Church of the Nativity. It's a big struggle, of course, because the Christians here are in the middle. You know, they always want peace. They don't want conflict. They don't want, want war. Uh, they just want uh, uh, everybody just to sit down, talk about peace. Let's pray together. Let's see what we can do for having this uh, peace together. After all, peace, he says, is the true message of Christmas. For CBS Mornings, Chris Livesay, Bethlehem.